Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, in this particular uh, chapter, we are going to discuss uh, on the strategy uh, generation and selection. Uh, in which, in this particular chapter, we are going to explore some of the tools that we as a uh, strategist could employ in order for us to identify the right uh, strategy that we are going to recommend for our organization based on the analysis that we have conducted internal and external. So the following uh, some of the objectives that we are going to uh, discover and explore together. And uh, please bear in your mind that uh, there are few of these uh, uh, tools that you are going to apply into your guru project. For example, like uh, the SWOT matrix, and then this is one of the popular topic as well, uh, popular tool uh, when it comes to strategic management. And then we talk about the IE matrix. Uh, this is also quite famous. And then maybe some of you might want to apply this uh, QSPM uh, in your analysis of your final decision. So when it comes to the process of generating and selecting strategies, uh, number one, uh, you need to identify a manageable set of the most attractive alternative strategies that must be developed. And then uh, at the same time, as a strategist, you need to identify the advantages and disadvantages, trade off the costs and benefits of uh, these strategies uh, should be determined. So what they are trying to tell you is that when it comes to the process of uh, developing or generating uh, strategies, we are expected to generate as much strategy, as many strategies as possible. And then only we try to prioritize and then we try to look at the advantages and disadvantages. And then sometimes the best, the most uh, feasible or the best uh, strategy that we might want to propose to a particular company, sometimes uh, the cost analysis does not support the implementation of that particular strategy. So you need to go for the second, the third or the fourth uh, uh, strategies uh, based on your list. And then identify and evaluating alternative strategies should involve many of the managers and employees who earlier assembled the organizational vision and mission statements, performed the external audit and conducted the internal audit. So just like your group project, there is no way that one individual could come up with the SWOT analysis and uh, suggest uh, as many potential strategies as possible. Uh, it must involve all of the strategies who are earlier involved in the design or preparation of your vision and your mission. And then alternative strategies proposed by participants should be considered and discussed in series of meetings. Proposed strategies uh, should be listed in writing when all feasible strategies identified by participants are given and understood. The strategies uh, should be ranked in order for, of attractiveness. So if I were you uh, in a group of four or five for this particular project or in a group of three, four or five. So what I will do is that once we are all agreed on your SWOT analysis, on the strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, uh, what I would suggest is that uh, each and every one of you to take that SWOT and you identify first by yourself on the potential strategies. So each and every one of you will do this separately. And then only you come together and uh, discuss. And during that time, perhaps you might be having more alternative uh, to be proposed or proposed by each of the group members and you can identify that maybe perhaps some of you might have similar strategies based on the same sort that you have identified together so that's how i would approach this particular group project so this is the strategic formulation analytical framework and for this part we have already conducted the stage one we have conducted uh, the ife we have conducted the efe and then uh, the competitive profile metric uh, if should should it uh, be necessary uh, but anyway anyhow these are the input stage that we have all completed in our previous previous chapter
So the stage one summarize the basic inputs uh, of information needed to formulate the strategy, meaning to say that if your uh, input is not right, if your input is wrong, uh, it's not 100% uh, correct. Uh, so there is a possibility that you might uh, create or suggest uh, incorrect uh, strategies. So that is something that we would like to avoid. So uh, that's why I keep on saying that the input stage, the stage one, is the most important stage. Uh, it's the most difficult stage in terms of uh, strategic formulation. And then a uh, stage two. This is what we are going to discuss today. Stage two uh, in this particular chapter onwards. Uh, we are going to discuss on the matching strategy. Uh, focus on generating feasible alternative strategies by aligning key external and internal factors. And then uh, includes uh, SWOT metrics, uh, space metrics, BCG metrics, IE metrics, and the grand strategy metrics. And then the third stage is the decision stage in which uh, you are going to use the QSPM in order for you to identify or reveal the relative attractiveness of uh, alternative strategy and thus provides objective basis for selecting specific strategies. So what we are going to end up with uh, based on your sort and then you are going to apply the SWOT matrix and then based from the SWOT matrix you are going to come up with uh, eight potential strategies and then based from these eight potential strategies you might want to finally choose two or three and then you are going to analyze uh, on by using this QSPM matrix, uh, quantitative strategic planning matrix in order for you to identify between the top three potential strategies, which one has the most attractive, which one is considered to be the most attractive one for this particular company to pursue. These are some of the example on how you can uh, mix and match between key external as well as internal factors to formulate a strategy. Um, we are going to take uh, one or two examples from here. For example, the first one, if you have an excess working capital, meaning that you have a lot of cash uh, in your in your company, in your account, you have excess working capital. And then you can see that one of the external factor under the external opportunity, uh, there is a 20% annual growth in the cell phone industry, even though you are in a different industry. And so when we talk about external factors, it could come from even different industry. And so what your resultant strategy is to acquire a cell phone incorporated, acquire a telephone telco company for example. And then uh, the second one, insufficient capacity, meaning that that is what your internal weaknesses is, one of your internal weaknesses. And then you found out that uh, exit of two major foreign competitors from an industry. So maybe what you can do is to pursue horizontal integration by buying competitors uh, facilities. So these are some of the examples on how you can mix and match between the key external as well as key internal factors in order for you to formulate your strategies. We will try to go uh, one by one in terms of the uh, potential uh, tool uh, in this particular chapter. And so the first one, we talk about the SWOT matrix. Uh, this one is applicable to all groups, to all group projects and uh, for all the companies that you are dealing with. So uh, the first one, when we talk about the SWOT matrix, what you need to identify or develop is that you are going to develop these four. SO, WO, ST, and WT strategies. So what is SO strategy? SO, you use the firm's internal strength to take advantage of external opportunities. And then WO strategies aim at improving internal weaknesses by taking advantage of external opportunities. And then ST strategies use the firm's strengths to avoid or reduce the impact of external threats. And then WT strategy, defensive tactics directing at reducing internal weakness and avoiding external, external threats. So these are the sequence of process that you need to do. Uh, this, this, these are all uh, have been done by each of the groups. We have already presented the sort matrix for each of the group. Uh, you have already listed the key external opportunities, external threats, internal strengths, and external weaknesses. So the next one is for you to match strengths with uh, external opportunities and record the resultant SO uh, strategies. 
S O W O S T N W T strategies. Uh, Ada few of the steps untuk tinggal, dah terdelit kot. So this one is S O and then you need to develop the W O and then S T N W T strategies. So let us look uh, from a from an example. So this is a sort matrix, sort matrix for a retail computer store. Uh, the they have identified there are several uh, strengths and also several weaknesses. And then later on, you have to go back to your textbook. Uh, tengok balik. Uh, in terms of the uh, their strengths as well as weaknesses. And then these are their opportunities and threats. Uh, the opportunities and threats. So based on this, uh, we can see that for the SO strategies, the first one, add four in in-store promotions monthly. So this come from the strength number four, which is the earlier strength. In-store promotions increase by 20%, uh, increase in sales. And then they combine with uh, vehicle traffic passing store up by 12%. So what they will do is to add four in-store promotions monthly. And then purchase land to build new store. This come from weaknesses number two, uh, location of store hurt by new highway, and because maybe there is a new highway being developed right in front of the store. So what they will do is that they combine with this one, rival computer store opening one mile away. So as part of the potential strategy is to purchase land to build new new store. And then for the ST strategies, for example, and hire two more repair person and market these new services. This one is combination from uh, S6 and also S7. They combine between the uh, few of the strengths, install technical support person, have uh, MIS degree, and then revenues from repair and service install up by 16%. So they try to combine that uh, together with the threats. Number one, best buy opening new store in one year nearby. So what they will do is that market penetration. They uh, improve uh, or add more uh, repair persons uh, and market uh, these new services, repair and store and uh, in, the, in, in the company, for example. So these are some of the potential strategies that you need to develop for your group project. I know that uh, do we have to use all of the items that we have uh, listed in our sort analysis? Not necessarily. And uh, meaning that if you have 10 uh, strengths and opportunities, it doesn't mean that you have to uh, suggest 10 uh, potential strategy. No, but I would expect that each of these would be filled up by potential strategy. Lah. I would expect that the least potential strategy that you can suggest should come from WT strategies. But uh, for the remaining of the uh, uh, strategy, potential strategies, can, could be suggested by the combination of your uh, elements uh, from your internal and external analysis. All right, so I will stop here first and then we will continue uh, in the next video with the remaining of the of the tools inshallah